What's up guys? So it's been a long time since I've recorded something just because of the fact that it is summer and well it's pretty hot and fortunately today I have a camera person so they could, they're gonna follow me around and show you guys what's living, what's dying and a little bit in between. So we're gonna start with the flower bed. Now the flower bed I do have to give it a little chop just bring it down because it's just getting too overwhelming now after the after the the flower bed we have here the hikama which it is throwing some flowers and it does have some pods as you guys can see here and well this is very good because I do want to get more seeds for the hikama. Um, but yeah, these are the first two beds. Again, I'm telling you, this is going to be a fast one because I don't have a lot of things to show you. On my second bed, I have uh, some onions, which I should have picked up a while ago, but I didn't. At this point, I am just going to get them, cut the tops off, and I'll see what I could do with them. We're going to go ahead and go to the next bed. All right, so for the following bed, there isn't anything on it because these are from the next bed. These tomatoes are dead. They're gone already. I just haven't had any chance to actually come by and remove them. Now I do have some, well, I had some sunflowers. They're mostly dead already. Uh, pretty big head. That one, that one is still good and if uh, the camera is gonna tilt to the other um, sunflower bed, they're most of them dying. So, they're most of them dying already. And one plant that I wanna show you guys that I've always tried to grow. You have no idea how long I've been trying to grow this. And this year I actually just planted this plant and I just let it go. And out of five plants, only one survived. And this plant gave me two fruits. So I'm talking about the watermelon. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit within frame. Um, try not to step on them. Ah. All right, so in front of me, it's one watermelon. And right there, it's another watermelon. Now, I do have, I have a dilemma. I'm about to go on vacation for two weeks, almost three weeks. And well, they're not quite ready, but I think I am gonna pick one of them, which is the one in the front, the one that came out first, to see how it's going. I don't know if they might get ready in two weeks, three weeks, so just in case, I want to see how they how they are doing. Now, like I said, next to the watermelon patch, it is the sunflower patch that is dying. Um, trying to get through here without killing the watermelon plant because it's just one single watermelon plant. And so we have the sunflower patch, which did pretty good, but now it's dying. And I have. Oh no, they turn, they, they have the stripes, but I had one that was um, albino and I was trying to save the seeds, but what I noticed is that not all of them did uh, get pollinated, so I was not going to save that. Now, what I am thinking about doing next year is that I'm going to plant a lot more watermelon just for cover crop, and if I do bear fruit, then hooray if not it's okay but I was thinking about doing cover crop watermelon next year now the next couple of beds are pretty simple and easy because there isn't much it's just some corn that never bears and the other one there was more corn now over here I have banana plants papaya plant which has a lot another banana plant in the back and way behind is another banana plant and so right now it's very barren because it's summer it's hot 
I'm hot right now. My camera person is hot. Um, and, well, yeah. That is my garden right now. That is my August 1st garden tour. There isn't much. I'm just waiting already for September to start planting out seeds and start the new season in October. So, again, I apologize for not putting out, out as many videos as I used to, but I, I really don't have much to show. Everything's pretty much the same. It's summer, it's hot, it's over 100 degrees. So, I can't really plan anything. Thank you so much, though, for watching. Uh, uh, like always, don't forget to subscribe, like the button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.